Red Dead Online is out of beta. I haven't played the game for a few months so this was the perfect opportunity for me to come back and take a fresh look at the game. It's needless to say that the beta period for Red Dead Online was very rocky. People had complaints on the lack of content, the empty world, the grieving problem. Basically there is a stark contrast between online and the single player experience. And the 1.0 update adds a bunch of content, tweaks gameplay elements and mostly it shows what Red Dead Online is gonna be about in a few years down the line. My personal major concern was this. Red Dead Online had a major identity crisis. No one knew what the game was about and it didn't excel in anything in particular. The PvP is kinda bland, the PvE was boring because the world is so empty. So what exactly was this game and who was it trying to appeal to? So let's begin. Again, these are all my thoughts. Uh, you let me know in the comments down below what your experience with Red Dead Online is right now. So the transition from beta to the full release of Red Dead Online is straight up troublesome. There is crashing, there is glitches. No one know what the causes of these crashes are. A lot of people are saying it's the fish glitches, other people are saying it's the stable glitch. But now everything is patched and the crashes are more abundant than ever. After or during every stranger mission my Xbox One X crashes. I've seen fish which I caught coming back to life and floating to the heavens above. There is some crazy bugs with defensive mode being taken into PvP matches. There are people seeing piles of burning horses, people disconnecting all the time, the fish duplication glitch, horse duplication glitch. There's all sorts of weird stuff happening. I am not a game dev, but what they added is very big, so naturally there will be issues. Now I don't know how to feel about this, because we've had this very long and extended beta period, which uh, a lot of issues should have been ironed out, and well, the fact of the matter is, it still feels like a beta and it feels like the same game. It's been a week and I've had more crashes today than the total time that I've played Red Dead Online. But let's just assume that all of these things get fixed. Let's assume in a few weeks we can all play without crashing, without glitches. So what exactly do we have? Here's the thing, this is where people expect me to criticize the game more than ever. But after taking a long break and playing different games, I've come to enjoy Reddit Online again. So what changed? Instead of turning Reddit Online into Wild West GTA Online, they took the RPG route. In in a previous video I made, I voiced three major complaints. One, there's nothing to do. Two, the PvP and bad shooting mechanics are front and center, grievers are rampant. Three, the game is a jack of all trades, but a master of none. So I'm gonna start with point two. PvP and shooting used to be front and center. Rockstar clearly tested the waters on how their games were received and started dabbling in battle royale modes even, but no one really wanted this. The, those modes are pretty much dead in the water right now. Instead, they are focusing on PvE. Blips disappeared, defensive mode got introduced and with those additions free mode actually became more friendly than ever. Meeting players in the wild in the open feels like a special encounter and more often than not they are very friendly. This is exactly what I wanted to see, I've discussed this in a previous video. Point 3, the game was a jack of all trades but a master of none and kinda goes hand in hand with point 2 which I just discussed. And now it's very apparent that they set their focus on making Red Dead Online a unique RPG experience, especially with the implementations coming in the near future. There are roles that are going to be added to further your progression. Now this is speculation, but I'm fairly certain that they will add classes and class bound upgrades for your camp or buyable properties. The higher level you are, the more stuff you can buy, kinda like a battle pass system only driven by XP instead of days being online. So there's incentive to level up all your different classes. Now this update is coming soon and will further those RPG-esque advances. Now that kind of leads us to point number one. Uh, there is nothing to do and that 
is still a very, very valid issue with Red Dead Online right now. Now, to explain this, uh, I, I have to draw a clear line between the people who are able to entertain themselves to find their own adventures and the people who bought the game to be entertained by the game itself. And that last group of people is a big one. And their critique, again, is very valid. Uh, what is the most outstanding thing about Red Dead Redemption 2? It is, at the end of the day, the story of Arthur Morgan, the gang, how they all interact, and your part in that. Red Dead Redemption 2, the single-player experience, allows you to go on your own adventure, but at the core, the game takes you by the hand to go on Arthur's adventure. In Red Dead Online, this is simply not the case. The story missions are very bland and repetitive, the stranger missions are a load of fetch quests, the free mode events drag you out of whatever you are doing and, well, that's about it. They added random events and of course gambling the poker which add to the multiplayer experience making it more similar to what single player is, but the game is simply not there yet. Everything Red Dead Online 1.0 currently is for that specific group of players, the people who want to be entertained by the game itself, is a grind to buy the fastest horse, every gun, every clothing item and beyond that there is nothing. So for that group of players, Red Dead Online 1.0 remains a disappointment. And speaking of the grind, it's it's quite hardcore still. Some story missions do give you a hundred or a couple of hundred uh, dollars for the first time of completing them. For all other missions, you are looking at 20 bucks. In some free mode events, you can earn up to 40 bucks. And the same goes for some PvP missions. But some clothing items, uh, singular clothing items can cost you... 150 bucks now that's a lot of grinding for just a jacket right now i don't think the micro transactions are too intrusive in red dead online this is mainly because i don't have a clue how many gold bars i actually made i've i've, I've got 90 right now and I, I never spent them and rockstar has been handing them out constantly once that stops and future DLCs will drop, we will actually get a good scope of what the gold bar situation truly is. But the fact that you can get everything with gold bars and other things just with money and the grindy nature of the game and how to obtain that money, I I'm kind of holding my breath. So in conclusion, the steps Rockstar has taken is, is kind of good. The game is still very messy, but I expect this will be cleared up soon, hopefully. I like where Red Dead Online is going. This is all I really wanted. I don't see myself playing this game in a few weeks or so, though. However, I will continue covering the game when interesting news or updates release, so be sure to subscribe. Uh, also, leave a like on the video, and please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let's get a nice discussion started. With this all being said, I, I bid you all farewell, and have a good one.